So I'm mixing some vocals and I figured I'd share it with you guys. All right, so the song's a work in progress, so keep that in mind with everything I'm sharing with you here. But there's an A section and then there's a B section, and the B section is what I'm currently working on. That's the more recent thing that we tracked. We just tracked it the other day. And all we did is we had a Spirit microphone. I also had a Lewitt microphone up. I have not mixed the Lewitt, but I wanted to share what I did to the Spirit microphone so far. And this is just on vocals for the B section. And so far, the B section here, it's just vocals and guitar. I'll actually play it for you here in a second. But I figured I would just share what I've done so far. Yeah. So let me hit play on it. Basically, we have this is kind of the end of the A section. And then we have a guitar shift. So we actually have acoustic guitar going and then it shifts into electric. So I'm gonna just hit play at that instrumental, the beginning of that instrumental shift for you. So that gives you the basic idea. I did a little sound effect right here, the little like low end whoosh uh, that was derived from actually, I showed it on my Instagram reels a while back, but it's actually derived from a cannabis container popping open. So a little like sound. And I don't know, I ended up with that on the timeline as scrap. And then I changed it even more and put it in there. But today I was going to talk about the vocals, so I should stay focused. So here are the vocals. It's just a spirit microphone. And let me see, I can, I have the track highlighted. I can do shift A to bypass all my plugins so you can hear the microphone by itself. I'm gonna just solo it though, cause it'll be a little quiet. I'll do a later part cause she gets louder here. And actually in here, she's kind of, I don't know if belting's the right word, but she's much louder. She's kind of belting it. And there's some harshness in there that I really worked on it with my mixing here. So we'll talk about that. Pick a rose to test the thorns of If I bleed, am I alive? Is it worth it to feel my lungs collapsing? So that's basically the raw recording with my effects on here. So I do have an aux track here. It's going to super massive, which is that delay that you're hearing. I can actually open it up here. So I started, let's see, I started with the swelling quarters preset and then I changed a few things, I believe. I think I changed a few things. Anyway, so that's Valhalla super massive. And then I have a compressor on there as well. And what did I do with that? I'm side chaining it. Hmm, what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have it side chained here. So side chaining is active. I have it taking from bus 33, which is ascend from my spirit mic. So that basically when this these vocals, the the raw, the dry signal, right, is going, that my super massive signal is then quieter. So it doesn't interfere too much with the dry vocals. So you'll hear as it plays, it's much quieter when she's actually singing and then that delayed effect comes uh, up more in the mix after when she's not singing. So I'll play that really quick for you. Pick a rose to test the thorns of If I bleed, am I alive? So that's all that is. So you can see, let's see, bus 33, bus 33, 34 is going out through ascend from the spirit microphone. And then I'm just receiving it in this compressor. So that's what that aux is. And then the other thing that I have going here is we're going out bus three and four, which is for the vocals aux, I believe. Yeah, so here it is, bus three and four. So that's my main vocals aux. And let me close this plug in too. And all I have on there is uh, Slate Digital, the Verb Suite Classics. I have the Boost plugin just to boost the signal a bit. Um, I have Fresh Air, but it's bypassed. I think it might be automated, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I automated it for the, something in the A section, but it's bypassed for this section. And then beyond that, right, I have some other things. Let's see, five and six. So it is going through five and six. So it is going through these aux tracks as well. Uh, not this one. These ones. 
15, 16, it's not going through. Yeah. So I also have it going through these effects. These are much quieter in the mix, so they're not quite as obvious, but I have it going through Fab Filters Timeless 2 here. That's a really fun delay plugin if you haven't tried it. I also have it going through Echo Boy. And then I also have it going through this uh, Klanghelm compressor here. Uh, I think this one might be a free plugin, so maybe I'll put a link to that in the description for you guys. But the idea with this one was parallel compression. I did set it up for the A section, so it might not be squishing it super hard the way you usually like to do with parallel compression. I haven't gotten to that stage of the mix yet, uh, so I haven't automated this for the B section yet. So this might not be the best example here, but that's what I have so far. And then I have a uh, verb suite classics on it as well on the parallel compression. So that's what I have. It's going through these four aux tracks and then it has its own aux track as well that it's going through. Um, so let's look at what I have on the actual track here. So let me see, I'll just go through and activate them as I go. So I have Fab Filter Pro Q. I'm cutting a lot of the lows. There's some harshness around like a thousand Hertz, you know, a little bit below a lot of times like the seven, eight, 900 Hertz frequency range really bothers me. So I tend to cut it. I don't know if it's just me or if it's also other people, but it does tend to bother me. And then this was basically kind of like a notch filter to get more harshness that out that was in there. So, and then I'm just lowering the highs just a little bit. Um, I guess I decided that it was cutting through a little too much. So that's what I did. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's basically it for that. And then I have a de on it. So it's just doing some basic de -essing. And then I added the extra refinement. This is one of those things that I add on a lot of tracks. Uh, I've done a good amount here, so negative 4.69 decibels, and this is basically just taking out more harshness, and you can solo filter and listen to what you remove. Actually, I can hit play and do that. I think I've talked about this plugin on my channel before. It just takes out harshness. I really like it. I use it on like everything. It's definitely one of my favorite plugins. It's available on Plugin Alliance. And I don't know what else to say about it. I think a lot of the things that I tend to put on vocals is all about controlling harshness because I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm sensitive to harshness or it just for some reason psychologically it bothers me more. But um, I'm always trying to cut harshness on everything. Symbols too. I mean, it's not just like vocals. It's also other things that tend to have like that harsh to it. Um, the, anyway, so then, you know, same idea, Smooth Operator by Baby Audio. This is a new plugin for me. I've just been messing around with this recently. I've been really liking it. It's, I forget the exact description that they have on their website. All right, so I checked. It's an intelligent plugin that combines resonance suppression, spectral compression, and equalization in one workflow. And they call it an intelligent signal balancer. And they say you can use it to eliminate harsh frequencies and optimize your tonal balance. So that's basically what I'm doing here, reducing harsh frequencies. I'm using it kind of similar to a dynamic EQ, uh, but it's a lot of fun. So you have a threshold value. This I'm sure has to do with the compression side of it. And then you can target specific frequencies. So for this one, I have targeted, let's see, 45, 96 Hertz. That was really bugging me. And I'll bring these in and out while I'm playing back so you guys can hear this. But the this one really bothered me, the 45, 96. So I brought it like way down. But uh, I don't know if that's the best idea, but that's what I did. And then I have a compressor on here. So a CLA-2A. And then I have another smooth operator because I just... I just do too much with everything, apparently. But you know, I'm targeting a different frequency with this one at least. So this one's targeting 736 hertz. Uh, that, again, you know, it's one of those frequencies that sometimes bothers me. So uh, let me bypass these all again. So shift A and I'll bring them in for you guys. I might bring the compressor in first because that brings it all up in level and it'll make it a little bit easier for you guys to hear. So I'm gonna hit play here. Actually, I'll play it. I'll play it with the with the guitar and I'll let you guys hear how everything changes. Mad 
So that's the basic idea. I wanted to play you guys one of these. Some of these are kind of harsh. Let me find one that's harsh and I'll play with and without smooth operator. Cause that's like the new exciting thing for me is the smooth operator plugin. So let me hit play here and let me figure it out. All right, so I think I'll show you guys this, this little section here. So I'll play it without smooth operator and then I'm gonna bring smooth operator in so you can hear the difference. When my brain misfires Just command click to bring them back in. When my brain misfires every time. Oh, I used to be someone. So that's it. It's a work in progress. So I don't know. I figured I would share. Sometimes it's just easier to share a work in progress than to come up with a whole video essay type of topic. So that's what I figured I'd do today. Let me know if you like this type of video and let me know if you have any suggestions for me. I don't know. I feel like we're all just trying to figure it out. So cool. I'll put links to the plugins that I used in the description for you guys. I guess I'll try to find links for all of them. I, uh, not sponsored by any of these. I'm just happen to be using them. But a lot of these are my favorite plugins, right? I use Pro-Q2 all the time. I use BX Refinement all the time. I use this DSer all the time, uh, CLA-2A. Now I'm starting to use Smooth Operator a lot, Valhalla Supermassive. These are all plugins that I use all the time. So I do really like these. I, I would recommend them if you haven't tried them yet. Uh, try out the trials, right? You don't have to just pay for them. You can, you can try the trials if you haven't done that yet. So I don't know. I guess I'm talking in circles now. So I think I'm done with this video. So let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, you know, like comment, subscribe. I'd appreciate all that stuff. And I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Kato noise. And my patrons get access to additional content. We have a discord server that a lot of us are hanging out on. We're having a lot of fun. We started a book club. It's been pretty great. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you so much for watching. Okay. 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 My hair is all greasy because I haven't washed it in like four days, maybe four days. It's really greasy. That's why I put it in braids because it's really greasy. But I'm going to go work out after this and I don't want to wash my hair and then want to wash my hair again because whenever I work out, I like to wash my hair after. Blah, blah, blah. No one cares. Uh... I don't know what else to say. I'm working on another video about my move. A lot has changed, right? I've painted, I got a new desk, I ordered some new equipment. I just ordered a bunch of acoustic treatment from Gick Acoustics. So I'm really excited for that, but everything's taking forever right now to get delivered. Like I ordered a sofa weeks ago and it's gonna be more weeks before it's delivered. So it's just slow, I just have to be patient. I wanna do it the right way. So it's, it's okay to be patient about it, I think. Um, but I ordered some corner base traps for the room, so enough to go floor to ceiling in all four corners. And then I also ordered some ceiling panels that I'm going to hang. So uh, I'm excited about those. And I'm also working on getting both my sets of studio monitors up and, and working. Uh, right now I have my Cali N8s, which is what I'm using. And then I have my old Mackies. And those are on my attack wall monitor stand, but they're kind of low since I got my new desk and my new chair and stuff. So now the height doesn't quite match. So I'm working with them to maybe get some risers or something to get them to a similar height to the Callies, you know, into my new desk and my new setup. So, uh, I don't know. I guess that's what's new with me. The Whisper Room's been going great. I still haven't gotten a snake, so still open to recommendations for a snake. Um,
oh, I got my drum set set up completely behind me. And whenever I'm like bouncing out a more complex session or like rendering out a video or, you know, something that just takes a little bit of time, I'll go and practice drums for a few minutes. And that's been a lot of fun. I'm kind of surprised at how much my coordination has come back very quickly for it. It's just the muscle power and especially like my right foot for the kick drum. It's um, it starts screaming at me really quick. Like it's 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 bad. It's hard because like I want to do the thing, but my muscles sometimes won't let me do the thing. So uh, working on it slowly but surely. Be fun to. It's been fun to get into drums again. I really missed it. I didn't realize that I missed it, but I I did miss it. It's a lot of fun. So. Oh, and I've also been posting reels on my Instagram with like really short tips. So if you haven't checked out my Instagram yet, there is some. Pro Tools content, you know, audio engineering content on there that is not here on the YouTube. So I might start posting some of those reels here on YouTube too. I just have to figure out how to do it because I know YouTube has the shorts function now, but yeah, there's additional content there if you want to go there. It's free. It's Instagram. It's at Kato Noise. I don't know if I said that already. Okay. I think I'm done. I'm like talking in circles. <laughs> All right. Uh, talk to you guys soon. <laughs>